All right, it's hardware three day. Time to upgrade from hardware 2.5 to hardware three. Scheduled it about a month ago and got today, February 20th. And so I'm headed on my way there right now. If you don't know what hardware three is or full self driving or all of that jazz, we're gonna get into it because really this software update really is just giving you some visualizations which you saw in my last software update, you know, seeing traffic cones and garbage cans and stuff like that and traffic lights. So I'll be able to see that with this hardware update, which I don't see now, but I don't think a lot of you understand which hardware you're on, how to check and what it actually gives you now and what it will give you later. So we're gonna cover all of that in this video. Okay, so there's a lot of questions about full self-driving and hardware three and what exactly it means. So this part of the video, we're gonna go into the details and the details are, Elon had said that if your car was delivered pre-April, May, June-ish, you have hardware 2.5. And if you were after that, you had hardware three. Now, what exactly does that mean? Why should you care? Well, hardware 2.5 is the old full self-driving computer that's in the car. Hardware three is the new one. The new one is supposed to allow full self-driving when fully available. As of right now, having hardware three will allow you to see stoplights, stop signs, uh, railroad crossings, uh, garbage cans, uh, traffic cones. I'll, I'll put a link to my video up here where I showed this in a car that has hardware 3.0. Now my car, I took delivery back in March 2018 and uh, there was only 2.5 then, so I know that my car has 2.5. But if you're unsure of what you have, you can actually pull the panel off that's below your glove box. There are just some clips that hold it in and when you pull that off, uh, there is a series of numbers. Basically, it's about seven digits long. If it ends in 112, you have hardware 2.5. If it ends in 554, you have hardware 3. That's the most accurate way to tell. Um, now, keep in mind this. Why do you need hardware 3? Well, you're going to need hardware 3 if you're thinking about getting full self-driving. And if you have bought full self-driving and you have hardware 2.5, you will get a free upgrade to hardware 3. Hence what, why my car is in the shop, getting hardware 3 at no cost to me because I purchased full self-driving. Now, if you have hardware 3 right now, what are the benefits and perks that you're getting in hardware 3 that a hardware 2.5 user will not have? To be honest, right now it's just visualizations. Like what I talked about before, you're gonna see traffic lights, you're gonna see stop signs, you're gonna see cones, you're gonna see garbage cans on your screen. And I see that becoming more enhanced with the ability to see more, but this is basically a teaser. Elon said, what you're seeing is what the computer sees and what it'll be seeing when full self-driving or the next phase of full self-driving will be released. The next phase is gonna be autopilot on streets and it's gonna be able to do that by being able to see the signs and being able to navigate around that. Now, if you don't care about full self-driving, you probably need to do a little bit more research as to what are the benefits to full self-driving. We're not gonna get into that in this video, but if you don't care about it, you don't have to worry about purchasing full self-driving, nor should you worry about what hardware is in your car. Keep in mind, full self-driving purchased does increase the value of your car because full self-driving the feature added to your car stays with the VIN. It does not carry with you, the user. So if you're looking at selling your car in a couple years or even in 10 years, it's going to be at an advantage because it already has full self-driving. So someone buying it will have full self-driving and will also have the latest hardware in the vehicle. Hence why full self-driving is important and hardware three is important. But hopefully that clarifies what's the difference and why somebody should have hardware three, why 2.5, and what's this big commotion about getting hardware three because I just wanna see traffic cones. No, I'm getting it because I'm excited about the future 
of full self-driving. I can't wait to see what this hardware is going to enable the car to do in the coming months, in the coming years, as more and more features of full self-driving becomes available. Elon did say that navigating on local streets was coming soon, so that is definitely going to be something that only Hardware 3 is going to be capable of, because it's going to need to see traffic signs, it's going to need to see stop signs, and crosswalks and railroad crossings and so forth. So I'm excited to see how that looks and about that coming in the future. That's why I'm getting the upgrade and I bought full self-driving. All right, so excuse the noise, I'm right by the freeway. Just dropped off my car at Tesla Service. It's currently 8.45. My appointment was at 8.30, so I uh, just finished all the paperwork. I just ordered my Uber, so those of you wondering if you get a rental car or an Uber, um, what I was told here at the Fremont service was that for same day service, it's an Uber. If it takes longer, then you have a higher chance of getting a rental car. Um, but yeah, Uber $500 credit, I'm not complaining. Uh, in any case, uh, they did let me know that it's about, you can only use like $100 a day, so it's good for like four days or something like that. So that's kind of nice. I uh, just decided to get a little bit nicer Uber with extra room. And um, yeah, I'll go home. Now, the cool thing is, is I know a lot of people are reporting how long it takes. He said it should be done by one o'clock, so we're gonna check it out. 8.45 officially left the service center and uh, we'll check back in to see how long it actually takes for when I have to come back and pick it up. Yeah, but they did tell me that it also is highly dependent on the Wi-Fi and how fast the uh, software can download. So like many have said, it's very contingent on the software. The software packages that it needs to download are very large. And uh, I did also hear that there's a competition between service centers on who can do the fastest hardware three retrofit. So I'm guessing that a lot of you guys are gonna see pretty fast turnarounds as they start doing more and more of these retrofits. So let's see how long today's takes. Hey Raj, it's Tesla Fremont Service, how are you? Hey good, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. I um, wanna just give you an update on your vehicle. Um, right now the, the, um, the computer has been installed, but we're having some issues with firmware. Um, we found that your car is configured wrong right now. Like it's showing up as a red Model 3. Really? So, yeah, it's weird. Something strange is going on. So, at this time, we're going to have to escalate it to the engineers uh, to correct that before we can get the firmware to go through. So, because it's going to be more time here, possibly into tomorrow for sure, um, or into tomorrow, I want to see if you have an opportunity to get into a car right now. Okay. Or today. Yeah, yeah, because, um, yeah, I'll need a car for tomorrow, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, let's okay. do that. Uh, what time can you, uh, be here? Uh, I could come right now. Yeah, yeah, come right now. Okay. Alright, I'll see you. Sounds good, thanks. No problem. Bye. Bye. -bye. Ah, well, configuration problems. Otherwise, it would have been done! Oh, damn it! Ah, <laughs> you made me look bad. Oh. Ah, well. It is what it is. What can you do? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to my new Model X. No, I'm just kidding. It's a loner. So, let me explain. Obviously, you just heard the phone call that came in. It was something was wrong with my configuration of my vehicle on the back end. The engineer said it's showing up like a red Model 3, and it's clearly not. Uh, so apparently something needs to be fixed before they push the software update, which is essentially going to take a little bit longer, which passes our same day window. Means that it carries on to the next day. Hence, I got offered a loaner. Uh, so I asked about that. Turns out that if it's a same day service, you'll get Uber credits. And I think um, had that weird glitch not happened, uh, it would have definitely been done same day. But because of that, now it's going to take till tomorrow and I have a nice Model X to enjoy for the day. Now, before picking up my car tomorrow, I did want to explain a little bit about that 
no matter which hardware you have, if you have hardware 2.5, um, and you get hardware 3.0 right now all you're seeing is the visualizations but despite some having hardware 3.0 will not see visualizations if you have not purchased full self-driving so you need hardware 3.0 and you need to have purchased full self-driving to see the visualizations today and then of course whatever elon and his team decides to release in the future all right, so last I left you, it was, I think, Thursday or Friday? In any case, dropped off my car Thursday at 8.30 in the morning, uh, received a call uh, around maybe 2-ish to let me know there were some uh, issues on the back end um, causing them not to be able to update the software on my car. They had already finished the hardware installation and then it would take another extra day. I was able to go back to my Tesla service center and pick up a loaner. That's this Model X right here. Not complaining, it's pretty damn nice. Uh, then came along Friday. I was expecting the car to be done on Friday, but on Friday I received a text message at 125 that says, hey Raj, your vehicle is still in our diagnostic stage. We will have your vehicle ready for pickup by Monday afternoon. So I, it was kind of like, okay, well, that sucks, but I'm not complaining. Had a Model X for the weekend. That was pretty nice. Now, uh, my service center is not opened on weekends. I don't know if any of them are actually, but uh, mine wasn't. So I had to wait till Monday. So it's now, um, however, Friday at 628, I get a text message that says, your car is ready for pickup. And that was at 6.30, so had it been open a little bit longer, I probably could have picked it up Friday and that would have been, you know, 24 hour, uh, a little bit more than 24 hour turnaround. Now, um, it's now Monday, Monday morning. I enjoyed the Model X of the weekend. We're here to pick up my car, hardware three, software, everything should be done. So let me go get it and get out of this. I will miss the X. Get out of this and, uh, and I'll see you back in the three. All right, back in the three. And um, first thoughts, I lost my odometer. So all that information that showed me what my total watts per mile has been since the beginning is, is gone. Um, and uh, let's just see, people had said this, some people didn't. And I'm thinking what happened with mine was that because of the uh, because they needed to reload the entire configuration on my car and everything like that, I think it reset everything. So de depending on your car, it may vary whether they have to do this or not. So I can already see that, um, uh, let's just check my navigations. Yeah, there's no home, there's no work, uh, but the name of my car is erased. So everything needs to be essentially kind of reconfigured like it's a new car again. That kind of sucks. My profiles are gone. Uh, I don't know. It is what it is. But when you click on settings and you go down to software, right now it's downloading navigation data update, which is kind of cool, I guess. Uh, but when I click on that and I go to additional vehicle information, uh, it comes up and says audio system is premium, which it is. But now it says autopilot computer, full self-driving computer. So that is different. Um, and then the rest of the stuff is there. So. Uh, yeah, now I guess I'm going to see beautiful images, <laughs> cones, traffic lights, uh, next step towards full self-driving. So I'm excited about that. Uh, you've seen what those images look like, so I'm not going to really show it on this video. If you don't know what they look like, check back at my 2020.4 um, uh, uh, software update or 2020. 50, I forgot what it was. But anyway, check out the last software update video that I did. You'll see that featured on there. Um, other than that, yeah, that's, that's about it. So remember, if you have hardware three and don't have full self-driving bought, you will not see the visualizations. You need hardware three and you need the full self-driving purchased. If you have hardware 2.5 and you've bought full self-driving, you will get hardware three for free. You will not see visualizations until you have both full self-driving bought and hardware three. That's how it is for right now. Obviously, that's probably going to change as we move ahead in the future and more releases come out, specifically the 
autopilot on city streets. I'm super excited about that because that will seamlessly transition you from the freeway to city driving and almost you'll see an almost complete full self-driving package uh, being showcased. So uh, that will be really awesome to see. Other than that, hopefully you learned a lot from this video about full self-driving, what this hardware three means and so forth, and I answered your questions. If you have any questions that I missed or I didn't answer, uh, leave them down in the comments down below. Remember, if you like this video and you found it informative, hit that thumbs up button, and if you aren't already subscribed, consider subscribing. Catch you guys next time. See ya.